So the series we were trying to look at was two thirds times one, well, one times one plus one third times two plus one ninth times three, uh, uh, yeah, one ninth times three plus one over three cubed times four plus etc. Okay, so this is two thirds. Sorry, I'm running through the tripod here, so I'm stretching. Two thirds times. What should this series equal? Well, it's in the same form as the series we looked at, so x in this would be one third. Uh -huh. So it'd be one over one or er, one over one third squared. It's one over one over one or one over one minus a third squared. Yep, so what is that? So one minus a third is? Two thirds, so two thirds squared, four ninths. So it's two thirds times one over two thirds squared. So it becomes one over two thirds. Two thirds times this just flips upside down. Two thirds times nine fourths, which is um, three and fourths, which is what we got originally. <coughs> which is exactly what we got originally. Hmm. Which is pretty cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This new way of thinking at it, <coughs> think about this, once you know how to sum this series, now we can actually solve the problem for a 120-sided dice. So, the same problem. We're going to roll a 6, and we want to know the first 6, but no odd numbers. Alright. Okay. So then we have what, 61 out of 120 that reset the state? Do you see why? Because you have 60 odd and 60 even. Yeah. And then one to six. So on, on round one, we get 61 out of... Uh, 120. 120. And on round two? So 59 um, out of 120 times 61. 120. So our geometric series is just a hair more complicated, but it's the same. Same general form. Yeah, well, what's it going to be on round three? Can you tell me? What's the chance that I see my first six on round 50, three? 59 over 120 times 59 over 120 times 61 over 120. So I get a new series, which is 61 over 120 times 1 plus 59 over 120 plus 59 over 120 squared plus dot dot dot. What about the twos and threes? Right, so this is my this is my chance of ending on one, chance of ending on two, chance of ending on three. Now if I want to count my expected end, so this I'd have to multiply this by one, mm -hmm. this by two, this mm -hmm. by three, etc. But now I know what this series equals. What does this series equal? So sixty one over one twenty times one over 1 minus 59 over 120 squared. And what is 1 over 1 minus, what's, on the what's going to be on the bottom? 61 over 120. 61 over squared. 120. So it be squared. 1. So one, 120 one. over 61. Plus 120 over 61. Which is nearly equal to? The half. Or the, it's nearly equal to 2. Oh, yeah. 2. So I expect to see almost my average being not quite two rolls, but just under two rolls. And now we're going to go and simulate this, which seems like a much more difficult problem, but we actually just solved it instantly from the ideas. But now we'll simulate it and see if we see the same result. Yeah. Okay.